Well, folks, what happened today? It is Saturday. I was up middle of the night with uh, my little man for hours. No, actually, he went to sleep and I couldn't fall asleep. So I, I watched this documentary about Lenny Cook, who was at one point the number one rated high school basketball player in the country. For some reason, you know, he played with, played against uh, Carmelo Anthony, played against LeBron, and then he didn't go to college, and then he ended up not getting drafted, playing all over. And he looked like a pretty damn good player. I don't know, he just kind of slipped through the cracks, and now he's 30, 31 years old, I guess, maybe 32, and living somewhere in Georgia, drinking a lot of beer. And he said, what did he say? He goes, well, I came from nothing and I'm back, so I didn't lose anything. And he said he made big money. Well, he said he made like three to 50,000 cash at one point. He was getting money and he was a young kid. He said he should have probably went to college. It was kind of an interesting, he actually, at the end was kind of cool. He was talking to himself, but as an adult, he was talking to his 19 year old self as a 30 year old. And you know what? He probably would have done the same things. Who wouldn't? I was 18 with all that talent. Who knows what I it takes a different kind of person to. And LeBron was a beast, man. Not everybody's panned out to. Oh my God, I got this freaking zit or whatever you on my chin that is killing me that I decided to pop and now it's beyond inflamed. My whole chin feel. I feel like I want to just put a needle there and suck out all the. It's killing me. So, yes, I watched the documentary. And uh, the hockey tonight, man. Chicago, freaking snow. That looks like fun. So I thought Pina had duties. But no, she just, her tummy's not feeling 100%. So, uh, I'm tired, man. I'm tired. And Pina's decided that she wants to walk a little further. So, at least I think she wants to walk. So, yeah, it's just every couple hours with waiting for your son to wake up. And, uh, but well, we got a lot of stuff done today. We got opened a banking checking account for him. We uh, bought Peanut her heartworm medicine. Very exciting stuff. Got Peanut a new harness, a very pink harness. She's very happy about that. She looks like a girl. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I have an audition tomorrow morning, which I'm thinking about going to a little early. We'll see. See how I wake up. Yoga might have to tutor tomorrow morning. Come on, let's go. Peanut, we're not sitting outside. It's 10 o'clock at night. We're not sitting outside. What's the matter with you? What? What, I'm not giving you enough love? What's the matter? Say hello to everybody. Say hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, what's going on here? What is this? Hey. Hey. What is this? Ugh. I just read they just retired Allen Iverson's... <laughs> Allen Iverson's uh, jersey, and they said he completely broke, and he made, like, with endorsements, he made, like, almost a quarter of a billion dollars. Yeah, he probably made, he made a ton of money. He said it's all gone now. Some guys weren't meant to... Yeah, I mean, he had a good run. He played 14 years. He had 14 years of good money. More money than he knew what to do with. So I don't know. Would you rather have and lost or not have, it had, not have had at all? That's an interesting question. I don't know. It's a good question. It's a very, that man was wearing a very small backpack. Come on, let's go. I don't know what you're doing, Peanut. So yeah, that's an interesting question. I guess if you never had it, you don't know what you lost. But if you had it and lost it, yeah, that would hurt a little bit. I don't know. I do not know the answer. Well, I guess I can relate. I mean, I'm trying to build my training business, but I had built it up to a point where I was really busy, making a lot, making really good money, and now I'm not. I get it back again. Yeah, I want it back again. I want that feeling again. I like the fit. I think the real feeling I'd like to have back is I'd like to write another script and make another movie. That's what I. That's what I. That's what I want. So I feel like with all this auditioning and stuff that. A lot of the time, it's just 
I, even the, the thing I'm auditioning for tomorrow, I don't think it's the script is nothing to write home about. I would change the lines. I feel like the guy doesn't even know his own characters. If you're playing a gangster, you know, you don't, you don't say nothing. You say nothing, you know? That should be written, it should be written to the dialogue. It's just me. So I'm going in and gonna do my own thing anyway. Wow. Ooh, that looks bad. Bad. All right, five minutes, I don't like going over five. All right, peace out.